Hello, my name is Dennis Taylor and I am the programme lead for food science at Glasgow Caledonian University. Today I'm going to give you a brief introduction to food science, hopefully bursting some of the myths. I'll tell you a little about the content of our degree course at GCU. And I'll show you the career destinations of a few of our most recent graduates. I'm always delighted to talk to anyone about food science and the benefits of a food science degree. So please feel free to contact me by any medium, um, email, telephone, Twitter or Instagram. My contact details are on the first slide here. So if we start off by bursting some of the myths, what is food science? Well, it's not cooking. Food science is about studying the application of science, and it deals with the chemistry, the biology, the microbiology, the toxicology of food. But not only these sub subjects, it also encompasses food business, legislation and regulation. Basically, we investigate food all the way from farm to fork. So from wheat through dough to bread production or from sugar cane through that factory process to the production of fizzy drinks. Food scientists are involved in every step of food production. And if you're studying food science, you may look at the analysis of food. So you analyse food to calculate the food composition and nutritional status. And as food consumers become more health aware, you may be reformulating these products to reduce the amount of sugar. So our can of iron brew that we've seen in the first slide has had its sugar content reduced. Or you may be reducing fat in products or increasing fibre. And again, you would have to analyse the product to make sure you were fulfilling the remit and you were within the legislation. We are seeing new products being brought onto the market every day. And with recent dietary changes and a shift towards more plant-based diets, we are seeing lab-grown meat, we're seeing bug bolognese in the centre picture here, and we're seeing plant-based burgers that actually bleed. And food scientists are involved in the production of all of these types of products and more. And while developing these products, we have to make sure that these products are safe and that they also have a healthy nutritional status. Microbiology is quite a large area of food science and we look at the microbiology of food. So if it's not um, safe, it's not food. We investigate food poisoning incidences, food poisoning um, bacteria, outbreaks that are linked to food poisoning, and also look at the symptoms and effects of food poisoning. But also as food scientists, how we prevent these types of incidents occurring. But microorganisms aren't only the bad guys in food production. Microorganisms are involved in the production of a range of foods. So they're involved in the production of yogurt, of cheese, of kimchi, um, sauerkraut, and of beer. And in, in looking at these products, we look at the fermentations that are involved in these products. And we also look at the organisms that are involved. Many of these organisms are functional organisms and have an impact on our health and well-being. Another 
large area of food science deals with food security and sustainability. How do we produce safe, sustainable food for a globally increasing population? Food production and food waste has a huge environmental impact. And how can we as food scientists reduce this impact, but still maintain food security? So if we look at plastic waste, for example, we've all seen the pictures of plastic waste within our oceans and the impact that plastic has. But plastic is also um, extremely important in keeping food safe and increasing shelf life. So we have to be developing new types of packaging, packaging that is sustainable. We've also seen the impact that meat has on our environment. And again, we need to be looking at developing sustainable sources of protein. And food scientists are intrinsically involved in these challenges. If we look at the BSc in food science degree, we see in terms of structure that the first 18 months you study um, core biological science subjects along with um, the other biological science cohorts that come into GCU. So you would study with the pharmacologists, um, the biomedical scientists and the biological scientists studying things like physiology, introduction to microbiology, um, biological chemistry, and a range of lab skills. Moving on to the second half of second year, we incorporate the first of the business modules into the program. So you will study project management and risk alongside fundamental cell biology and practical skills in biomolecular studies. This gives you a broad range of skills and some business acumen. In third year, the degree becomes much more food specific, where you study biotechnology, analysis of food, food commodities and sustainability, food science, molecular diagnostics, and then you also have the opportunity to choose either nutrition and public health or operations management, which is another business module. When it comes to fourth year, our food scientists have the unique opportunity to work through study. So you have a full placement um, module, which you carry out on placement working with a business. And this gives you work experience while studying. This applies everything that you have learned throughout the degree so far within an industrial um, environment and offers our students a huge um, advantage when it comes to looking um, for a job at the end of their degree because you actually have the work experience on site to put on your CV. You also do a quality systems module and this module um, really gets you ready for industrial placement where you look at all of the systems that are involved within food production. And when you come back from placement, you will carry out a molecular biology workshop um, and also you will have a lab based project. And these projects again can be tailored to your interests. So you will speak with the module leader and you will develop and design a project that really inspires your interests in food. You also study a module either in food toxicology or you have the opportunity again to take a module with our business school, giving two streams really to the BSc food science, one which is more safety orientated and one which is more business orientated. Our degree is accredited by the IFST, who are the Institute of Food Science and Technology, and we were the first in Scotland to receive this accreditation. And we are also accredited by um, REHIS, who um, 
provide um, food safety officers um, to um, local council. This slide just shows some of our placement providers, by no means all. But in here, I'd just like to say that we've managed to maintain our links with our placement providers, even through the COVID um, pandemic. And our students are still out in placement, still working with our placement providers um, through the pandemic, which shows how important food science is um, within the economy in general. The types of roles and types of jobs are extremely varied, and these are only a few, um, but you can work in research and development, in process development, legislation and labelling, production, um, technical, quality assurance, um, laboratories and analytical. We have students working in all of these areas. You can also go on and look at sales and marketing, um, and you can work um, in research. They're really, um, the world is your oyster, really, with a food science degree. And I'm now going to show you just a couple of our recent um, graduates and what their destinations are. So Carla um, carried out her industrial placement with Scottish Shellfish Marketing Group, and during her placement, she helped to design a product um, for Morrison's um, initially for their Valentine's Day range, but then developing into their best range, which was Scottish mussels and fries. Um, this product had Carla developing the recipe, also the packaging, how that product um, maintained its shelf life, and also worked with Albert Bartlett, the potato producers, developing the frites that would cook at the same time as the product as the shellfish. This product won Scottish um, Shellfish Product of the Year. And after working as a new product development assistant with Scottish Shellfish Marketing Group, Carla has just recently been promoted to the new product development team manager. Michael is another one of our um, graduates who again um, took the opportunity of developing his placement opportunity with our biofarm Roan. Um, in his um, placement, he worked developing a testing kit for mycotoxins in food. He continued this um, through his project, um, went on to win the IFS, win the IFST Young. Um, Scientists of the Year competition for Scotland for his um, work on project and placement, and then um, secured a role with iBioFarm Roan as a technical services scientist, and again has just recently been promoted to senior technical services scientist with our BioFarm Roan. If you want to go on to further study, there is always the opportunity to do that with any degree, but specifically with a food uh, science degree. Ashley was one of our um, recent graduates. She had a placement with the Kerry Food Group. Um, then she went on to work for a year in the technical department at Greg's. And she decided that she would like to go on and study for a doctorate. So she is currently studying um, crop rotation with Oxford University and the James Hutton Institute in um, Dundee. And another one of our recent graduates, Grab Gabriella, um, she has gone on to study um, for an MSc in food technology with the University of Wagner in Amsterdam. Gabriella um, carried out a trimester in Amsterdam uh, working um, on developing European um, food concepts um, at the Amsterdam University of Applied Sciences. She had a studentship with Drink Biota and she also had an internship with um, the Industrial Biotechnology Innovation Centre or IBIOIC out of Strathclyde. 
So at the moment, um, Gabriella is just finishing off her master's. She's working for Heinz in Holland um, and doing a project with them, um, looking at their product development. I'm not going to read out all of the entry requirements for the degree, but if you are interested at all in um, food science, please contact me. We are really keen to encourage um, young, enthusiastic um, students into the food industry and into food science in general. So these are just um, some pictures of some of our recent graduates. Um, we are a small but very welcoming cohort and we'd love to speak to you about your future in food.